Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand programmed I.O. mechanism. So, the concept of I.O. configuration, the concept of I.O. instructions and the concept of I.O. Instruct, uh, operations, how the I.O. Operation, IO, IO operations will get executed has already been discussed in our previous three videos. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here because without understanding those concepts, you may not be able to understand uh, what's happening in this video. And every video in our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts now coming to this class we'll try to understand programmed IO mechanism in our previous video we have discussed that so the uh, the input and out of output operations can be performed in two different ways one is programmed IO and the other one is uh, interrupt driven IO mechanism so the programmed IO means whenever the input output instructions will get has to be executed this program this part of the program will get executed so this part of the program will get executed and so uh, this part of the program will get executed and here the uh, input uh, input instruction will get executed so these three uh, lines of code will get executed in order to perform an input operation so this is what we call it as programmed io so what is this instructions what these instructions are so uh, the discussion about ski and inp has already made in our uh, input output instructions so there we have said that so what this SKA will do is so before understanding this instruction we will recap the concept of uh, IO configuration so what this IO configuration so this is the block diagram for IO configuration we have discussed so this this discussion has already been made let's try to recap those concepts whenever initially initially whenever the computer is switched on so this flag will be zero so whenever this flag flag is zero it means that uh, it means that there is no input value on this input register so whenever we press a key on this the in uh, the the device so on the device so that keys ascii value value will be transferred onto this input register and this flag bit is made to one okay so this we have discussed so so uh, whenever this flag bit is one so when if, if we try to press a key onto this it will not get transferred onto the input uh, resistor so uh, whenever this input inpr is one so the uh, computer knows that uh, the the value there is some value on the input resistor it has to be fetched and it has to be transferred on to the accumulator so this is how the things will work so the, this is how the io configuration is made so in this uh, io configuration so the uh, what the alu will do is the alu will execute these sequence of lines of code these sequence lines of code so and the input will be transferred on to the accumulator so this instruction is going to transfer the value in the input register on to the accumulator so before that before executing this instruction what this programmed io will do is the first step is ski so if the value of uh, flag fgi ski means if the value of fgi is 1 then we have to skip this instruction the next instruction will be skipped so this instruction will get executed but initially what we have discussed initially the value of uh, fgi is 0 okay so initially the value of fgi is 0 if the value of fgi is 0 what happens is uh, the next instruction will get executed what is the next instruction branch unconditional 100 ba branch unconditional 100 means uh, so whenever this instruction will get executed we are again moving on to this 100th uh, address and this one will get executed and here it is going to so in this statement what it is going to check it is going to check whether this fgi is 1 or not if fgi is one so what this instruction is the discussion about this instruction has already been made so what this instruction is if the value of fgi is one if the value of fgi is one skip this instruction and execute this instruction executing this instruction means the value in the inpr will be transferred onto the accumulator so this discussion has already been made okay so this is what the programmed io is 
so think of it how the programmed io will get executed so uh, this is how the programmed io will get executed but there is some disadvantage with this kind of programmed io execution what the disadvantage is the disadvantage is it is going to run it is going to slow down the cpus uh, cpus running execution uh, cpus uh, uh, fastness will be slowed down by this programmed IO. So how that is going to happen is, for example, assume that our basic computer is executing at 10 power 6 instructions per second. So our basic computer, usually the program speed is, a, uh, is, uh, uh, is found in uh, 10 power 6, 10 power 8, 10 power 9, so gigahertz. So this is how the programs will get executed on the computer. Assume that our program is capable of executing 10 power 6 instructions per second. Per second, it is going to execute 10 power 6 instruction, which means million instructions per second. It is a million instructions per second will get executed on our computer so that is the speed of our computer now how how much time will get uh, will it take uh, to execute one instruction to execute one instruction one instruction it will take 10 power minus 6 microseconds so within uh, uh, one uh, 10 power uh, minus 6 so within a microsecond uh, 10 power minus sixth part of a second one instruction will get executed so that is the speed of our computer now what happens with this programmed io is usually usually what happens is the inputs are provided at a speed of 10 characters per second so uh, being the human beings uh, to give the inputs onto the computer it will take 10 characters we can provide at a speed of the maximum speed at which we can provide the inputs is 10 characters per second which means per second uh, so uh, which means uh, 10 characters per second means uh, so we are going to take 0 0.1 second to give one character so in order to give one character how much amount of time will will it take so it is going to take 0.1th part of the second but in 0.1th part of the second so how many instructions can be executed so the number of instructions that can be executed is uh, 10 power 5 number of instructions will get executed in 0.1th part of the second okay so so what happens is we are slowing down the speed of the computer so with the program divo so what happens is uh, how much time it is going to take to execute to uh, to give one character it is going to take 0.1 second so for 0.1th part of the second we are going to continuously execute these two instructions so these two instructions will get executed for for how many number of times so 10 power 5 number of times so within 0.1th part of the second 10 power 5 instructions will get executed so those 10 power 5 executions so uh, those 10 power 5 executions are only these two instructions so which means uh, 50,000 instructions 50,000 times this instruction will get executed and 50,000 times this instruction will get executed this is waste of our time so 50,000 uh, uh, 100,000 instructions will get within this time of 0.1 second 100,000 instructions will get executed but with the programmed IO implementation for in order to input one character onto the accumulator it is going to take 0.1 part of the second which means uh, within that time 10 power 5 instructions can be executed we are slowing down the processor are you able to this point is very important to understand so that is the demerit of programmed io programmed io mechanism so how to avoid that uh, demerit is it can be done by using interrupt driven, driven io mechanism in our next class we'll try to understand about how the interrupt driven io mechanism will work uh, so this in this class hope you got the clarity on this programmed io mechanism and its dream demerits thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if 
you have any doubts regarding these concepts please post your doubts in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching